things. When I say I'm giving away the rights to the images of 12 paintings, what does that mean? Well, that means Sick Kids gets this painting. They get, let's, let's be clear, Sick Kids gets the rights to this book to produce the book, to sell the book, and they get all the profit from the book, as well as the rights to produce the 12 images within the book. What are those images? Currents of Journey, seven by like three foot, seven foot painting. This is being donated, and the original, as well as the rights to produce it, is, giving, is being given to sick kids. They're getting the original. Awakening. The Awakening. Also a very large painting. Radius slash orbit is the title of this. That's a four-foot round one-piece painting. Look at this thing. Awesome. Uh, this is titled Jewel. I had actually planned to sand through this with a very fine grit sandpaper over a very long period of time. And I had a few friends that said they really liked it, just leave it. And I was like, okay, truthfully, it shows the process before I really get into everything. So that's Jewel. It's a Jewel in the Rough, right? Diamond in the Rough. This... This is brain scan. This painting is on canvas. It's not wood. This is on canvas. A little piece of it, it, it had chipped away as I was doing the painting in the bitter cold of February in my garage. Uh, that has like almost 40 layers of straight color. 40 layers of straight color. I'm giving all of these to sick kids. The images, sorry, the rights to produce the images and that original. Diligence. Me and my daughter, you'd see the blue. These are all pits. Me and my daughter beat this wood with a hatchet, with a chain. We beat it with uh, um, anything we could think of to scar the wood before we started painting. And it's painted with the exact same layers of paint as this one. Exact same layers. And that's a drastic difference that comes through. Sanded on canvas, wood. Left brain and right brain. Left brain and right brain. Right, left brain is the you know you think within the box. You're gonna if you're gonna hang this painting, you're gonna measure that wall and you're gonna make sure it's perfectly centered within the wall, right? It's left brain thinking. Right brain, and that's what I went how I went at this. I was very methodical about every single layer and every every inch of the painting that I went over. Right brain is if you're going to hang that painting, you don't care. You're just going to put a nail on the wall and hang the painting and it looks beautiful, right? That's right brain thinking. Um, as I painted this, I just cranked up the tunes and just started sanding and just got lost in the painting. Uh, left brain, right brain. Homestead. This is titled Homestead because um, the, the, way, the way I put the wood together reminds me of like an old style farm house and it just gives me this warm feeling of of a family farm i don't know homestead that's what titled that one imagination this this piece um just like many of the other ones if i were to turn that camera that's like, like you see that burning seven it's like the lucky seven in the lottery machines uh look at this guy Sideways here. That's a Pac-Man ghost eating Pac-Man. Like that's titled Imagination. You you zoom up into there, man. You see all sorts of fantastic, beautiful things. This piece, this is a very interesting piece. This piece is titled Understanding. The reason this is titled Understanding is because this piece, this piece. This piece, this piece, and this piece, I had painted over and over, and then sanded all of them, all of them, um, and I did not like this one, because this one had different layers on it, had more layers, right, so I did not like it, I didn't, every single one of them looked exactly like that, 
for the most part. Um, and I didn't like it. So I titled this Understanding because I then, what, I went at them and I repainted my paintings again. I was like on the verge of calling them finished and I went, nope, and I had to repaint them all. So then I started splat painting. And I titled this Understanding because I started to sand through the splat painting and it started chipping away. Um, more so like bigger areas than I was anticipating. And so I learned to prevent that from happening. I've got to paint a full coat of paint over top of that, which um, helps prevent the smaller piece from actually chipping away. And then you get an effect like this. Uh, this piece, analysis, that's right. This one was, an I, I titled analysis. Actually, I had to look at that. It's been a while since I've pulled the back of this up. This little piece was analysis, and it's like, it represents just mental exhaustion. When I was going through the whole hip dysplasia thing with my daughter. You can imagine that, me and my wife. Yeah. If, for, for those of you who don't understand and know nothing, um, know nothing about hip dysplasia and what that is, you have to set an alarm for every four hours to move and shift the child in the body cast, make sure that their foot is not just dropped and get something called drop foot, which affect them the rest of their life. And you have to set an alarm every four hours to shift their position at the very least. So when you go to bed, you have to have, you can't just go to bed for eight hours and your kid let your kid sleep. You have to shift positions that kid get a body source. So just this uh, represents just mental exhaustion. I mean, it's a tiring time. And if you can believe it or not, all of it, all of it started from this. My daughter's in the cast. We started playing with Monster High dollhouse or Monster High figures. They were very new at the time. Um, they were incredibly new. They didn't have the furniture that they, that they now have, right? Um, and it all started with this. I created this bunk bed for her characters. And the theme is they're like in, in this old mansion monster, so you have to uh, imagine that it would be painted and taken care of multiple multiple times, and then they would sand through. So like that's the effect. That's the mindset I had as I created that. That bunk bed led into me building a uh, full monster high, four foot high, four foot wide monster high dollhouse for those characters. And in the process, I painted the outside of that dollhouse with these two paintings, the same layers. As I painted these two paintings, I painted that dollhouse and I painted, and then eventually I pulled this painting in um, and those other two. And then I started painting all of those, but it actually all started with a bunk bed. Can you believe that? Um, and I'm giving, I'm giving sick kids the rights all of these paintings all 12 of these are the paintings this is currents of journey uh, sorry this is changes that's currents of journey this C series of work is titled changes and that's inspired by wayne dyer's quote when you change the way you look at things the things you look at change now i talk about i'm giving sick kids a book and i'm giving away the rights to 12 of my paintings. It took These things took me five years to create. I hope this puts a little bit more in perspective of what I'm actually giving them. Anybody wants a print from the book that they have the rights to produce, they get it from Sick Kids and Sick Kids Profits. How much would a print, a full size print, on canvas or on some type of board. I don't know if they could put that on canvases around. Um, how about that one? How much is that worth? Like a full size print on canvas. Like this, I, I've printed this painting full size on a print like this that you would have to put in a frame. Uh, look at the quality. This is the quality, by the way. It's the quality of Colorgenics scanning equipment. Their Uber scan equipment. 
right? Now, Sikid sells this print. It's a $50 print. They sell this print. They get the money. You know? So, I, I hope... Uh, I hope this puts a little bit into perspective. What are you grateful for? What are you doing to give back for the, what you're grateful for? So that's my book. Here, here it is, my book right there. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't. I want Currents of Journey to be the cover of this book, not this. This is just something tactile um, for me to hold. And it, it just kind of went through stuff. There's my daughter. There's the bunk bed, just talks about a painting, talks about the changes series, and then it gets into it. Uh, represents mental exhaustion, the need to rest. Represents the human ability to learn, grow, improve, and move on. Understanding, I learned. I grew, and it moved on, right? And every single one of these paintings have a meaning. The up, there's about the painting, a meaning behind the work. There's Sometimes there's a note. Uh, some of these paintings, for example, Currents of Journey. It's got a, it's got a poem that is attached to this painting. Um, and this painting is awesome sauce the awakening has its own meaning but the awakening when tied to to left brain and right brain has another meaning currents of journey and the awakening when tied and viewed as tied to currents of journey has again another meaning like i just i you have to imagine you have to imagine, these paintings took me over five years to create. Now, this numerous painting time I was working at the time, right? I, you know, people say, ah, I wish I had the time to create five, blah, blah, blah. Look, man, I had to find the time. You got to find the time to make your creations. And then, what are you going to do with stuff, right? What are you grateful for? What are you grateful for? I'm grateful for sick kids. My family is grateful for sick kids. We are beyond thankful, beyond grateful. Um, and this is how we're giving back. You know, sick kids trying to build a new, a new hospital. They've never done a sick kids versus an art campaign. I've got another project that's my next charity project sitting in my garage um, that I'm currently working on. I'm currently painting, um, and that is going to be turning into hopefully a second charity book. Like I just. Don't stop. Don't, don't stop going after the things you love, people. Uh, what are you grateful for? Drop something in the comment. Tell me what you're grateful for. I love each and every one of you. Y you know what I'm grateful for? Every one of you guys. You guys are absolutely beautiful people. You're awesome sauce. You know, we do nothing alone. We do, we do absolutely nothing alone in this world. Um, nothing. That's it. But I love every one of you guys. You're the reason I keep going. You help me keep going because I'm gonna I'm gonna accomplish this goal, and you guys are are a huge huge reason why I keep going. Um, your support, your, a lot of people give me some some pretty kind words and help tell me to to keep on going, uh, and I appreciate that a great deal. You guys are awesome. I love every one of you.